Hey guys, it's Anna and I'm back again today with another thrift haul. This is going to be another huge thrift haul. This is from a while ago. We went to two of our favorite locations that we haven't been to in like a good minute, like a good while. I'm just going to get right on into it. There's a lot of stuff. It's in no particular order except that I'm going to start with the stuff that needs to be dry cleaned. Actually, first I'm going to start with something that's not clothing. I did pick up a book. The book was on super sale. Um, I actually brought it home and this was the wrong book. But it only cost me a few cents, so it's okay. Um, but so this is The Click um, by Lisey Harrison. I thought these were the ones that I wanted to get or that I had been buying. But it turns out the ones, because I already have Gossip Girl books from forever ago, but I was starting to pick up the It Girl when I see them at thrift stores, and I thought this was it, but this is the click. It is the wrong one. So this one was on sale because of the color rotation, so I ended up only paying six cents for this book. It's the wrong book, but it's all right. Starting with the stuff that needs to be dry cleaned still, the first thing I got is this navy blue linen dress. It kind of fits a little bit more on the boxy side, but when I try it on, I like how it looks cinched, so I feel like if I put a belt around it, it's going to be really, really nice. Um, and then this is by J. Crew. It is 100% linen. Last time I checked, linen can get pretty pricey. I've been seeing it left and right at the thrift stores lately, and my mom has just had me looking for it for her. So I've been finding a lot of it for myself, unfortunately, not for her. But And this linen only cost me $6, so I was like... Go. Next I found this black. It's kind of like an oversized like sleeveless dress tunicky type thing. I actually picked it up and showed it to my friend first because I thought that she would fit it better than me but it didn't really fit her too well. It is a size 4. It's by the brand French Connection. I'm in love with this thing. Like I'm obsessed with it. I just I cannot wait to wear this. I'm so excited. This was six dollars. There's not really much to say about it. It's a wraparound dress tunic. Thing. Then I found another leather skirt because whenever I see 100% leather at the thrift store, I'm like, yes. So I got this one. It is kind of big on me, but I feel like the, the cut of it is a little bit nicer than a skirt that I already have. It's a plain black leather skirt, a little bit of a slit in the back. This one is by the brand Jacqueline Smith Classic. It's a size 8, so it is definitely a little bit bigger on me and for leather this was only four dollars I mean leather can be anywhere from like maybe a hundred dollars for a skirt so I just paid four so then I found a jacket that I'm literally obsessed with because it fits so nicely oversized and I just love it it is this tan nautica jacket so the outside is that like waterproofy material a really nice pretty color tan or just like a camel color tan camel sand by Nautica. The inside is this really nice insulated, um, like, I don't know the material, but it's like soft <laughs> material on the inside. I just really like it. It's nice and oversized. I mean, it's just a plain jacket, but this is going to be really nice for the colder days when it's like rainy or like wet snow and cold. I'm really excited to wear this and it just looks nice oversized. I've just been so into the oversizedness of stuff. For that jacket, it was only $5, like ridiculousness. I kind of want to know how much they actually cost. Okay, I don't know. I, I ain't got time for that. I did find one pair of pants. Um, I didn't look too much at the pants again because I found that enormous amount of pants the other day. So I've been like Xing off the pants section because I just don't need any for a while. Um, but I did find these. It's just a really pretty tan, again, like that nudish tan color. They're just like a skinny jean very plain just tan color they are by the brand Mossimo it says they're the mid-rise denim leggings so I really like these these are super comfortable they have like false pockets in the front but real pockets in the back again I think you can get these from Target and I don't remember how much I paid for these I actually think she might have forgot to ring these up because when I got home and looked at my receipt I didn't see pants on there so might have got those for free 99 <laughs> And then a very cute summer top that I found is just this blue and white striped one. I like how it kind of looks like tie-dye-ish. So I just think it's really cute and it's going to fit me kind of cropped. Um, this one is by Abercrombie and Fitch. Does anyone still shop there? I do not know, but this is super cute for the summer. It's going to be really nice too. I want to wear it more as like a bathing suit 
cover up top to like go to the beach or something. I just think it's cute. And for this Abercrombie shirt, I only paid $4. Right in the middle of this, I'm just going to show one of my favorite finds. Oh my, there was a bird. <laughs> one of my favorite finds of the day is this really pretty silky top. It's not real silk, um, but it looks like silk and I've been all for that and I feel like a lot of us have been all for that like pajama nice silky sexy looking dress material I found so this is a very very oversized shirt it is by the brand Chico's it's actually a size one but I think I think that's supposed to be a larger size I, I might be wrong I don't know if this is supposed to be a shirt or like a dress but it's like a very long shirt that I can actually maybe get away with wearing it as a dress but I'm not sure yet I just I love this it's so pretty and then I only paid four dollars for this <sighs> yes I just hope I can find more of this material I've just been all about it lately then I found a really cute like cream colored it's more of like a cropped fitted sweater but it's still long sleeve so I really like this this is by forever 21 simple plain it's really nice and soft though it's like lightweight but it still feels like it's going to be really comfy and warm for like when the weather starts to get colder. Oh, this is the one that still had the Forever 21 tags on it. So I was like, score. Oh, and on top of still having the original Forever 21 tags, um, this was on sale for the color rotation. So I ended up only paying $2 for this guy, which was probably only like $14. I forget how much it was. I don't have the tag anymore. I got a good handful of like pullovers. I've been on the hunt for a pullover that fits a little bit more oversized. That's not too, too large. Like, okay, you're wearing like your grandpa's sweater right now and you need to go find a different one. So I've been trying to find just the perfect oversized pullover. I found a good handful of different colors. So I'm just going to start with the black one. So I got a black um, like pullover. This is by the brand Lee Sport. And I just really like this one. It's just a plain pullover. I think it might actually be like a kid's. I don't know. It says size is medium. But I think it actually might be more of like a child's size because the arms are so incredibly short that the only way it's going to be able to wear and look right is if I like crop up like push up the sleeves but I like it still this one I don't remember how much I paid for this one I do remember though it was on the color rotation so it was half off so I think I might have paid maybe like three dollars for this I just don't remember what they have these listed as then another pullover this one's a little bit more lightweight this is just a really pretty green. It's like a forest green. I don't know if it's showing up as green on the camera, but it's a really pretty forest green. It's by the brand Hanes. It says it's a comfort blend, soft sweats with eco smart yarn. So I really like this one. You can tell this one is already bigger than that black one. And then this is an extra large. So I feel like these are still kit sizes though. Look how, does this arms not look like super short? Or maybe it's just me. I don't know why I, didn't mark the prices of these. I feel like these were maybe like four dollars. Then I got yet another one. This one's a really pretty like blue color. And this one again is just still the oversized fit. This one is by the brand. It's JMS, just my size. It says is the brand. But it says the exact same thing as that Hanes one. It says comfort blend, soft sweats with eco smart yarn. This one's in the size 1X, so this one's gonna fit me a little bit bigger. But I really like this one. Again, I don't remember how much I paid for that. I think this might be the last pullover, but this is one of my favorite pullovers. Um, it is just this really pretty, like, pink, kind of like a magenta or, like, fuchsia color. Um, obviously, it's by Nike. Loves it. Not much to say about it. I just love the color of this. And then, obviously, if it's Nike, perfect condition, it's going to come home with me. So for like a denim -y type shirt. I got this J. Crew top. It kind of looks like it's a really, really light denim. I think this actually though might be a pajama top, but I'm not sure. It just kind of resembles pajamas. But I did really like this one. It's not a full button up. It kind of goes down to like my chest um, for the button up. And then it's got a little bit of a weird, kind of a fake little ruffle around the sleeve which is kind of weird but I mean it was J. Crew shirt that I can wear super casual I really liked it and I paid four dollars for that J. Crew. then I got this really pretty floral kind of like hoodie 
It's a really, really lightweight hoodie, though, which I like, so it's got the hood on there. My friend was like, Anna, is it, like, washed out, or is that how it's supposed to be? And I was like, I think it's supposed to be, like, faded like this. At least I hope so, but... I just really thought it was cute. I don't have too many things like this, especially for in the fall, winter. Some nice floral will be really nice and like cheerful, you know. I don't remember how much I ended up paying for this one, but I do know it was on the color rotation, so that means it was 50% off of whatever they priced it at, so I think it might have been 2 or $3. Then I got some more plaid shirts because I didn't already have enough. And I've just slowly been trying to like, I just love plaids, so I've been, or like thermals, like anything like the plaid button up thermal, you get it. Um, but so I try to keep in mind like the colors that I have and everything so that I can get like different colors and still be able to buy them be like, oh, well it's okay because I don't have this color yet. I picked up two. I feel like I've picked up this one a couple times at that location. If not, I've seen it at different ones, but it's the same one. I always want to buy it. So I finally did, and it's this really pretty like yellow and blue one. I don't think I have any other ones that have yellow in it except for this one, which kind of looks like a greenish yellow. I really like this one, and it's more of like a hefty, like heavy material, so it's more of like a thermal. Um, and this is by the brand Mossimo. I think you can get it at Target, but I really like... Oh my god, there's a bug. That's embarrassing. I think it was like a plant bug too, which is even more embarrassing because it was the teeniest bug ever, but I just saw it and it creeped me out. All right, and so this one was $4. For another plaid shirt, this one is sleeveless, so I had a little bit more reason to buy it because it's way different <laughs> than a lot of the other ones that I have. So it just looks like this. Again, I like the color. I think it's super pretty, especially for like the spring and summertime. I don't know why. Maybe because it's sleeveless, but I think this color is good for the summer. It's by the brand Authentic American Heritage. And it says so in the middle. I think I've seen this brand at Kohl's, I think. I could be mistaken. And then again, this one was also $4. So then just like the oversized track that I've been on with the hoodies or like the pullovers. I've been looking for some really nice oversized tees that are just plain to wear really casually. So I found this really pretty like blush pink colored one. It's by Old Navy. It's a size XXL. So it fits me really nice oversized. I feel like it's going to be so nice all year round depending on how what I put as like a necklace or like a scarf with leggings, jeans, I feel like you can't go wrong with this, so I'm really happy that I found this one in such good condition. Beautiful color for all year long. Again, I don't know how much this one was, but I do know it was on sale, that color rotation. And the only reason I don't know how much stuff is is because when I cut the tags off of them, I can remember what the sale was because I always come home that same day when I buy stuff. And so I remember the color rotation because that's what I was looking for at the store or whatever. Um, but so as I cut the tags off, I'm like writing everything down like the description and the price. But the Goodwills I go to, they don't have the price on their little tags. They'll just have like the size number on the tag and then they go by the color of that like little plastic thing that holds the tag on. Most of the time when I come home and I write down everything, I don't remember how much I might have paid for it. And I try to look at my receipt sometimes, but I think I lost the receipt to one of these locations. So whenever I say I don't remember the price of something, but I remember that it was on sale or something like that, that's why. So I did find a sweater. This is just a really cute, is this a cream color or is it coming off as white? I think it's more cream. So this is by the brand Anna, a new approach. So I just liked it because it's nice cut out. It's going to be so nice in the winter time. Casual, dressed up. It's just like easy. Again, this one was on the color rotation. It was on sale 50% off, but I don't know how much it was, probably like 2 or $3. Then this was something I wasn't too sure about getting because it's so small, but it's velvet, so um, I had to get it. It's just like this little halter. I think it's going to be way, way, way too small for me because of the, what I've got going on up top, um, but I really liked it. It is by Express. It's an extra small, so I didn't even try to try it on yet because I don't want my feelings hurt. But I think I'm just going to end up giving it to one of my friends that's literally teeny, teeny, tiny. But it's so pretty. It's just all the way velvet, halter top. It's so cute. And I paid $4 for this one. Some more velvet because if you guys don't already know, now you know, I'm obsessed 
with the velvet. It's a serious problem, but I'm okay with it. I found some more juicy jackets, which is always like a score. I think I found one at one location, went to the second location and found another one. So it was a great day for the velour. So the first one is this like really pretty lavender color. Again, you can see it's by Juicy on the inside. It's got the hood. This one does have like a little design on the back, which I prefer to find the ones without designs on the back. Usually because they do kind of tend to wash off after a while, so you can tell the wear and like the age of it by the way the design on the back looks, if it's like faded and whatnot. But this one's not too bad, so I guess it's okay. I just would prefer, prefer them to not have designs on the back but this one oh my god I only paid two dollars for these and I was at Kohl's the other day I just like ran into there um, really randomly I saw their juicy jackets there they were still $24 on sale so for me to pay two dollars for my juicy jackets <laughs> then for the second one it's this really pretty chocolate brown color I'm obsessed with this Yes, camera catch that color correctly. Again, just long sleeve velour. This one, thankfully, is all the way plain. Really pretty chocolate brown. Still in great condition. It's still so soft, and I've already washed it. Just wash. Do not dry your velvets. This one, since I did find it at a different location, was not on sale, so I paid $4 for this one. For something else that needs to get dry cleaned, I did pick up this 100% silk sleeveless top. Super duper cute. What is this on it? It's got a string on it. I just really like these. If you guys are not new to my channel, you know that I love these types of just like sleeveless shirt vest type things. This one is by Ann Taylor. Again, it is 100% silk, so I was like, yes. This one, I guess, was on the color rotation, so it was 50% off. I literally ended up only paying a dollar for silk. Okay. And then it's funny that I said that about the jeans or like the pants that I just like am not looking at it, but I still managed to find a pair of pants. I think maybe I just like walked through. I know the second location, I didn't go look at the pants at all because it was like, no. I ended up finding another pair of jeans. They just look like this. For some reason, this just like just reminds me of like outdoorsy type jeans. I do not know why. Like I just think of like walking around like a horse stables with these jeans on. I think it says this is the VS Hipster. I think this might be Victoria's Secret brand jeans. I could be wrong. On the button it says London jeans so I don't really know the brand of these but okay. But I just really liked the wash of these. They're in like amazing condition still. Um, they do have a little bit of like, is it called the whiskering? Whiskering? design and jeans is my weakness and these were six dollars then just sticking with bottoms i did find a pair of high-waisted shorts they just look like this they're just plain black high-waisted shorts super cute they're by the brand it says limited jeans i'm not too sure about these once i did try them on they're a size six they fit me a little bit larger than i think i like but i'll have to see how i'm feeling about these guys. I don't remember the price of these. I think shorts are maybe like, I know jeans are six dollars so I don't know how much shorts are but these were 50% off. And then I got two shirts oversized of course. The first one is just this plain again that like kind of nude tan color. I'm obsessed with this. The material of this shirt is so soft. It is by DKNY. It's an extra large so it fits, so it fits me. Really nice and oversized and comfortable casual and this one was four dollars then for the last t-shirt that I have at least right now is this one which I'm obsessed with it's just a Beatles t-shirt I've already worn this like so many times because I'm obsessed with it I'm obsessed um, it just says by the Beatle or the brand just says the Beatles on it so I don't know the size but I love this shirt so much and I don't even know how much that was, but again, it was on sale at color rotation, so it's 50% off. And then I managed to get another white tee. It might have been the one that I wore the other day, so it's in my laundry. But I got a really nice oversized white tank top with, like, I think it might have been a v-neck. Whatevs. It was oversized. It was white. The last thing from the stuff that needs to be dry cleaned, I totally forgot that I got this, is this really pretty beaded vest. So it just looks like this in the front. It's like all the way beaded all throughout. It's like kind of fragile actually. That's what it looks like in the back. It's really nice and sheer, lightweight. You guys can see through it. This is by the brand Amanda Smith Pure Silk. It is 100% silk. If you're definitely 
not new to my channel at all and you've been around for like some of the earlier thrift hauls that I've done, you might remember those beaded, really pretty, like all the way beaded tops that I found forever ago. And I just really wish and hope and pray that like I can find more of those because I'm obsessed. But this reminds me of those shirts. And this one, I only paid $4 for this guy, so. And if you're curious at all what I'm wearing on my lips, because I feel like I always wonder what people are wearing, especially as their lip color in videos, I'm just always like, I need that, I need it, I need it. Today, I stuck with my tried and true, my fave lip liner. It is the NYX. This one is in the color natural, just lined my lips with that. And I went in with a new color that I just recently got, like earlier this week. It is the ColourPop, it is Ultra, it is ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip. This is in the, oh my god, I can't even talk, I'm like so excited about it. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip, it is in the color Clueless, so I all the way filled in my lips with that. And then I went over the top of it just a little bit to like mute it down some with the Revlon Color Burst. This is the Matte Balm, and it is in the color 230 Complex. I don't know if they still have these anymore, but I love these guys, and they just like roll up. I just like dabbed it on top of there. It kept the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip from being too, too drying because it's got a little bit of moisture in it. So I like. So, in case you were wondering, otherwise, that is going to be everything for this video. If you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel so you can see when I do more hauls and see when I do lookbooks and stuff, including these clothes. And also follow me around to the thrift stores when I finally end up going again. Subscribe if you want to see those. Also give this video a like if you did enjoy it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.